Greetings guitar fans, it's Lindsay here at Maple Street Guitars, and I'm sure smiling today because the stars have aligned and the Gibson gods have smiled on us, affording me this really fun and rare opportunity to compare two small body Gibsons from the early 30s. I have here in my presence this beautiful 1930 L0 or LO, and its very fitting counterpart, a 1931 L1. Both of these are in incredible condition. They've survived so well for such light builds. So I'm really excited to share them with you today. And uh, we're gonna delve a little bit into the history of these guitars and then give them a listen. So come along for the ride. Now of these two guitars, the L1 has a little more varied and longer history in that it was originally introduced as an arch top, a carved arch top guitar in 1902 and Gibson continued to produce it in this format for um, quite a while, up until about 1925, making some tweaks here and there. But in 1926, it was reintroduced as a flat top-ish kind of guitar with an actually arched top, an arched back. Um, these arches were very slight, but there. And uh, it had, depending on the day of the week, I guess, a maple or birch back and sides. Gibson actually introduced the L0 or LO that same year, and it had much the same features in terms of an arched top and arched back. Around 1928, they settled on using mahogany for the back and sides of these guitars. And then in 1930, we have really a watershed year in that um, the lower bout dimensions changed on these pretty dramatically. It went from a 13 and a half inch width to 14 and three quarter inches. Uh, obviously, this increase in soundboard uh, area, um, especially in the lower bow, translates to a much bigger and broader sound. But more importantly, the proportions and dimensions of what we really consider the iconic small body Gibson kind of came into their own that year. Now, it was still the case that they were making these guitars as 12 fret guitars at that time. Uh, it would be another couple years before they transitioned to a 14 fret design. But um, even so, uh, these have very much the personality and overall kind of quality of sound that we associate with these great L00s, L1s, LOs of that era. Uh, it is important to note that these guitars were extraordinarily lightly constructed. Uh, many of them have not survived for this reason. So once again, it is an incredibly rare opportunity to sit here with two of them that are 90 plus years old that are in this kind of incredible condition. Uh, it's a real treat for me. But on this note, uh, they are strung with an extra light string. And by that, I mean a 10 through a 47, uh, which is much lighter than what we associate with a lot of steel string guitars. Um, what I think is going to impress you as we explore them a little bit further is just how incredibly powerful they are with this light tension string on them. But again, to circle back to the history, um, Gibson continued to manufacture the L1 until about 1937 uh, when it was just officially discontinued. The L0 was briefly discontinued in 1933 and then reintroduced in 37 as a very different guitar. It was black um, and therefore very easily confused with the l os of that time, but distinctive in that it has a bound top and bound back. So again, these are essentially the same kind of construction of uh, approximately the same year, 1930, 1931. They differ only in the soundboard material spruce on the L1 and mahogany on the LO. So that's a whole lot of history for you folks, but uh, let's get into listening to these two beauties and we'll go from there.
Well, once again, this has been Lindsay here at Maple Street Guitars in Atlanta, Georgia, with a comparison of two beautiful and outstanding vintage Gibson small body guitars. A 1930 L0 with a mahogany top and the spruce topped L1 from 1931. I must say it's been a rare and wonderful treat for me to showcase these two survivors for you that are now over 90 years old. And if you have any questions about them or any other guitars in our inventory, please don't hesitate to reach out to us or find us on the web at maplestreetguitars.com. And if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. In the meantime, stay tuned for the next episodes and keep on kicking.